We begin in Cuba, where Premier Li Keqiang has met with Cuban President Raul Castro in the country's capital, Havana. The visit is the final part of Li's three-nation tour to North and Central America. For more on this, CCTV's Michael Voss joins us from Havana. Hi there, Michael. So Premier Li has arrived and met with the Cuban president. Hello. What's come of their meeting? Well, it's been a very productive day so far. Saturday, they've already signed a number of agreements here. I think this visit to Cuba by Premier Li is about building on what is already a very comprehensive strategic partnership between the two countries. And now, Cuba has recently restored diplomatic relations with its near neighbor and former Cold War foe, the United States. But this visit, I think, shows the degree of mutual trust there is between China and Cuba, something that is still lacking in much of the U.S.-Cuban relationship. China's Premier Li Keqiang arrived in Havana on Saturday for the start of a three-day visit to China's closest friend in the region. Cuba is the only communist country in the Western Hemisphere and the two countries have long enjoyed strong ideological as well as commercial ties. In his discussions with Cuba's President Raul Castro, the two sides are looking at how best they can further deepen their bilateral ties. The Cuban government has defined it as the most important strategic partner of Cuba. And it has to do not only with the economics of the relationship, the economic relationship is very intense, but because uh, the political aspect of the relationship is very important. I think you have to bear in mind that these, these are the leaderships of two revolutionary governments, governments that overthrew a capitalistic system and imposed a new system. Economically, though, they have grown apart. Cuba is only now starting on the road towards market reforms. But there is a growing interest in China about business opportunities here, and earlier this year saw the first direct flights from Beijing to Havana via Canada. China is Cuba's main supplier of manufactured goods from cars and buses to household electrical appliances. Telecommunications is another key area of cooperation with Chinese companies helping expand internet infrastructure throughout the island. In a ceremony on Saturday evening, Premier Li and President Castro oversaw the signing of a range of agreements including credit lines to build wind farms and biomass power plants for renewable energy. Further agreements are expected to be signed on Sunday, particularly in the area of biotechnology and pharmaceuticals, something which Cuba and China have worked very closely together in, in, the, in recent years. Also on Sunday, Premier Li is due to have a meeting with some of the Cubans of ethnic Chinese extraction. You know, these two countries have a shared history that predates these ideological and commercial ties. A visit by such a senior official from Beijing provided an opportunity for the dwindling community of Cubans of Chinese descent to get together to enjoy their cultural heritage. At the head table, two Chinese Cuban generals who fought in the Cuban Revolution alongside Fidel Castro in the Sierra Maestra Mountains. The Chinese influence in Cuba is very strong. The first Chinese came here after slavery was abolished. They were treated badly. They didn't know how to cut sugarcane. Many went on to join the independence wars against Spain and more recently for the socialist revolution. An estimated 150,000 Chinese emigrated to Cuba in the 19th century to work on the plantations and later to build the railroads. More came in the 20th century, this time wealthier merchants and businessmen who helped develop Chinatowns in several Cuban cities. Havana's Chinatown is located in what is an old rundown part of the city, but in its prime this was the largest and most vibrant Chinatown in the Americas outside of San Francisco, California. Today there are still outward signs of its former glory, most of the wealthy Chinese Cubans left the country after the revolution. 
Of the tens of thousands of Chinese who came here, just 150 or so mainly elderly ethnic Chinese descendants remain. The majority of the early arrivals were men who ended up marrying former slaves. Today their presence can be seen in the thousands of Cubans like General Chui who have a mix of black and Chinese features. Cuba is ethnically diverse. The Spaniards who were the conquerors, the Creoles, African slaves and Chinese. We have all come together and blended as one people. Chinese culture and traditions are also popular here among ordinary Cubans. Very few of these performers have any Chinese roots at all. The final official engagement on Sunday will be a gala concert at the Grand Theatre in Havana, which President Raul Castro is also expected to attend. The one thing we're waiting to, see, to, to get news of is, is a meeting between Premier Li and Cuba's former leader, Fidel Castro, although such meetings are never announced in advance. Michael, thank you. Michael Vassal, Havana, on Premier Li's visit.